Welcome to Michelle's Making. Are you ready for coffee, crafts, cooking, and cocktails? Let's get going. Welcome, and welcome back to those of you who are returning. I really do appreciate it. Today is Black Friday, so get time to shop and maybe get some bargains uh, today, although they've been going on all month, really. But we've got a lot of things going on today. It's cake day. I'm always in the mood for cake. You're welcome giving. I guess that seems right since yesterday was Thanksgiving, so maybe it's time now to say you're welcome. We certainly are saying it with our leftovers, right? We've got plenty of those, I hope. It's Flossing Day, Native American Heritage Day. Hmm, that's an interesting one. So learn a little bit about American Native American heritage. Listening Day, you know the old saying of why we have one mouth and two ears so that we can listen more than we talk. It's also Maize Day, not M-A-Z-E, but M-A-I-Z-E, corn maize. Uh, buy Nothing Day. So for those of you who know it's Black Friday and could care less and are gonna buy nothing today. But in the meanwhile, we're gonna make it a great one. I'm enjoying pumpkin spice in my coffee. As you can see, it's almost gone. I've been enjoying it this morning. But we'll make it a great one and let's get going. Well, today's video is a little different. I'm gonna show you how I've incorporated some of the pieces I've made into my decor, beginning with this welcome round that I have hanging on the front door. I'm gonna insert the pictures of the items and the episode number so that you can easily find them. I've had difficulty going back to find episodes when I didn't know exactly where it was. And here you see the welcome round can be found in episode 23. Well, let's go on through the front door and I'll pan across the house here. Remember the remodel, so keep it in mind that this is what we've been working on for the last few months. And there's the tablescape, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Let me show you the things I have around the front door and the front window. Remember the tear tray I made with paint sticks and little trays from Dollar Tree? Well, that was the tear stand from episode 37. If you've watched all the episodes, you'll probably see a few other little things uh, interspersed here in my decor that I haven't necessarily listed. But you'll see here my hurry back sign I have hanging over the front door. That was episode 39. When I'm crafting uh, and filming, I try to remind you all to consider your own decor and your own taste and different colors that you might like. And I hope that some of this gives you a little inspiration to craft some things that'll suit your home. Here's my staying alive sign to encourage my plants to hang in there and stay with me. Please don't die on me. I've lost a few, but I've got a couple that are doing well. As I was filming this and editing this week's episode, I realized how many things I have made in the past year and how they're just tucked away in my house that I forget about and don't even really realize till one day I look at it and I go, oh, well, that's right, I did make that. So many of the things that I've made have been uh, just inexpensive, really easy, and, and pretty much anyone can do it. It's just a matter of getting the inspiration and trying to find something that's going to fit well with your taste and your decor. going to move on to the tablescape and keep in mind for me tablescapes are always a work in progress I rearrange things and I add things as the season progresses but this twine wrapped pumpkin has been one of my favorite crafts and I absolutely love it all of these colors have blended together well and I'm really happy with how things have turned out 
Do you like to do tablescapes in your decor? Let me know in the comments. My actual table was a work in progress. I had redone my chairs. Uh, this was all an oak table and chair set. And I picked up some extra chairs. All the bow back chairs you see um, were picked up at Goodwill, very inexpensive, but all the chairs got painted with a distressed, um, the, the Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white, and then I distressed them. And then for the tabletop, I bought four oak boards and just attached them right to the tabletop because the top of the table had seen better years. This is an old dining set I've had since my kids were babies and my baby is now 38 so you know how long that's been and through the wear and tear of three boys but I like the way this has turned out and it looks so nice with the wood showing um, and just using a table runner although I'll use a tablecloth sometimes. This table originally sat six people it now sits 10 to 12 people easily, so it truly is a family table. I really love my little grateful gnome. He looks so cute there, sitting on the table with all the decor around him. My tablescape items are things I've picked up at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, or Hobby Lobby, and a couple of things got a facelift this year. I do keep track of the episode that I made certain things, but some of the things I couldn't quite remember exactly what it was when I listed it in my little book that I keep. And this is where I got the inspiration for this episode. As I was going back looking, I realized it's kind of difficult sometimes to find things if you just knew it was there, but you had to go back and look through episode upon episode to try and find them. So I hope that you find this helpful. Let me know in the comments if you do find this helpful. Keep in mind, when you're looking at the decor pieces you already have, you can always give things a facelift, just like I did with this Give Thanks sign. I just touched up a little scuff, distressed the frame, and added a bow. I'm giving you a little view of the kitchen remodel. If you'd seen my kitchen before, you would know how ecstatic I am to have what I have now. And here's the little spice rack that I made. Originally, it had the word spices on the front, um, but I didn't really like it. It just didn't gel with me, so I peeled those letters off and just left it plain. And there's my granddaughter's cat, Ophelia, keeping an eye on me. And Bailey, just sleeping. It doesn't matter to her what's going on. <laughs> She's one of our three dogs. And there's the thrift box makeover in episode 32. I love this box and will leave it out year round. I film using my iPad and edit using the iMovie app. But for some reason, when I insert pictures, they don't always include the lettering that I've uh, superimposed. But it's very random and only happens occasionally, like with the changeable sign there. That was episode 26. The 
Positive Virtue Books are episode 11. hope you've enjoyed this episode that gives you a reference to where things can be found in the other episodes. I've enjoyed making it for you and sharing a little bit of my home with you. So sit down and stay a while. But for me, it's now time for my adult beverage. Today I'm having a pink lemonade martini. I'll include the recipe in the description box. I'll be using triple sec pink lemonade vodka, and Jose Cuervo ready-to-drink margarita mix. Quick and easy to make, everything goes into the shaker with ice. Shake, shake, shake until well chilled. Pour it into your chilled martini glass. And the only thing left is to enjoy a pink lemonade martini.